Now, I've just read something that has just completely blown my mind about this place. Hello, my name is Martin and welcome back to another video. So I'm in the township of Middleton today. It's a cold grey December day and I'm looking for something in the woods. I'm in a little bit of green belt called Hotwood, which is between Middleton and Rochdale. And tucked away in these woods is a house, an old house, a very old house called Hotwood Hall. Now I grew up round here and I used to do my cross country run round here and I used to probably run past this place and knew about it but never actually came to it and I've ended up growing up all my life and never visiting this place and it's quite a fantastic thing to see. Well, it is and it isn't because it's, you know those old stately homes that people visit, they're renovated and they're looked after and people pay to go in. Well this place is probably, or it predates those places. It's very dilapidated but it's quite fascinating at the same time and I don't know if many people know about it because it's so tucked away and there's not really much access to it but we'll walk along this road and we'll see if we can find it I know it's in this woods somewhere I think we've found the gates I think this is the old entrance to it I love these great big sort of plinths these real old-fashioned sort of like entrances to old houses So as you can see there's a great big fence around it and we can't get into the grounds and we certainly can't get into the house because it's really well fortified. Believe me, I've just had a quick look and tried that. Um, so let me tell you about it. I'll give you a quick timeline. So there's been a building on this site since 1426 and in 1426 there was an original wooden building built here. Now that's still inside there. And the timbers in that building, apparently, that built that building, were apparently 200 years old when they were used to build the building. So, you're looking at though, that the trees that originally made the original part of this building dating back to like 1200. That's like 800 years ago. So 1426, there's an original wooden building. Now, like a lot of these places, bits got added, added to them and little bits got extended so there's all sorts of dates involved but that building you see behind me that brick and stone building sort of dates from the 1500s the late 1500s and into the 1600s the main part was built so 1600s 1617 18 19 20 that's 400 years that building is 400 years old and it dates back to the 1400s which is 600 years ago that is incredible I find that un unbelievable there's an ice house in the grounds I'm gonna have a quick look to see if I can see that dates back to the 1830s and that's listed as well but if you just look around at the woods it's standing in and some of the trees this place has been untouched for years and it really is ancient I think this is the remains of some sort of sunken garden here um, I think they're trying to save it and do something with it but you can see um, there's a little wall there outlining it and that was the back of the house and I'll show you over there there's a lawn there and this would have been part of the sunken garden Now 
Now the Hotwood family were the local gentry that live round here and it's their home, their ancestral home and they lived here for 500 years. I think the last Hotwood lived here around about 1926. Since the last Hotwood moved out, the stately home has had various uses. It was actually a training college at one point for uh, Catholic monks that were going to be teachers. But over the years, it's fell into dilapidation. I'll try and find some pictures of it inside to show you what it's like. But basically, at the side of kind of like medieval wood carvings are later 17th and 18th century stonemason's work. It really is a fascinating place. If I can show you inside and show you some of the original pieces in there. Okay, so let's have a quick look inside. There are pictures available. So look in there, where you see that woodwork there, that would have been the original wooden hall that the later house that, that we've been looking at was built around. So where that woodwork is, from what I understand, that would have been the inside of a gable end. So the other side of that would have been an outside, the outside, if you know what I mean. The floor was put in later. Um, so that woodwork is a gable end of an original wooden hall that just would have been quite a big vast space with probably a fire in the middle with a makeshift chimney to take the, the smoke outside. The house was later built around that wooden hall. But look at the timbers. Those timbers there, that, that woodwork was put in in 1426. Now those great oak beams you're looking at were 200 years old when they used them to build the place. So you're talking that that wood started growth probably in the 1200s. That's 800 years ago. The, the time scales involved in this place are very difficult to get your head around. It's phenomenal. And apparently that woodwork uh, is one of only a very, very few in the country that is still intact like that. It is incredible. So let's just take a quick look at the rest of the house from pictures I've found on the inside. Now the following video footage you're about to see I've got from the Manchester Evening News website so all credit to them I hope they don't mind me using it but a reporter went in and got some fantastic footage of the inside so this is not me this is the Manchester Evening News that have been in and reported on this. You can sort of imagine in summer the ladies of the house coming down those steps and here to the back of the house and taking tea out on the lawn and although we laugh and it's a bit of a quaint British thing to say I reckon that was really the case people would have probably sat out on that patio there and probably took tea with the servants coming to them we'll just go up here by the uh, what are them are the alpacas <laughs> somebody's keeping alpacas we'll just go up here and we'll just see if we can uh, find that old ice house if we can ouch I imagine it, it would have been a luxury to have ice that's why they like built a separate building and kept the ice outside um, must have been quite uh, something to boast that you had your, you had your own ice house so I couldn't actually find anything that was or that looked like an ice house. Well, this is the back of the house. I think this was the servants' quarters. You can see it's all just been boarded up there. And I just love the chimneys. Look at those round chimneys. To me, they say old. They're not square chimneys, they're round chimneys. That's my science. <laughs> now, I've just read something that's blown my mind about this place. Apparently, in 1604, there was a famous visitor to Manchester. Well, famous now, probably not as famous at the time in 1604. But this person was visiting Manchester and he came here to Hotwood Hall to visit Edmund Hotwood, obviously one of the Hotwoods that lived here. Now, Edmund Hotwood apparently was a noted witch hunter. 
barbaric times, eh? The visitor that came here to visit Edmund Hotwood was none other than Guy Fawkes, who was in Manchester at the time planning the gunpowder plot. That has just blown my mind. The fact that we're walking around here in these woods, we've just walked down there from those gates that you can see just in the distance. And through those gates, because those are the original gates that to Hotwood Hall, through those gates, probably in the carriage, came Guy Fawkes to visit here and probably take tea and have lunch. Unbelievable. <laughs> if you want to know this place is old, there is the evidence. That has just blown my mind completely. Now also, let's not forget as well, William Shakespeare died in 1616. So in the early days of this house you're looking at now, Shakespeare was probably still knocking out the odd sonnet and play. Absolutely incredible, isn't it? So what are the future of the house? Well, basically it lies in the hands of an American. And this news was the latest thing I could find from 2014. This man, this gentleman is Hotwood Dupree. And he is an ancient relative of the original Hotwoods. And he lives in America, is an actor and director from America. And he found out about the hall and apparently he's quite wealthy and he's come over, last thing I read, he's come over to oversee the, the refurbishment of the hall. And I think the plan is to turn it into a hotel. Now this was 2014. I think that man's intentions are good. Certainly nothing else is being done by anyone, anyone else in Britain, so I wish him all the best. I hope they're still managing to do up the house. I hope they, they do manage to do it. And a hotel, well, it could be worse things, to be honest with you. If it's a hotel, I think people will get the chance to go in, and they'll, they're going to, obviously going to retain a lot of the original features, and it could be really, really nice. But at the minute, in 2017, it still looks like this, so I'm not sure what's going on. So there you go, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please consider subscribing to my channel. If we can get the channel a bit bigger, hopefully we might get access to go and explore other things. When people see you've got a bigger channel, sometimes they'll invite you in to go and make a video and we could maybe get some really exciting stuff done. Not for the fame, not for the fortune or the money, certainly not. It's just a way of supporting me and saying that you like the videos. So please consider subscribing. Anyway, that said, thanks for watching. I shall see you very soon in the next video. Adiós.